hi everybody so many of my singers um sometimes tell me oh i really want to be like billy Eilish, or i want to be like whitney houston or uh, celine dion or michael jackson so i decided to make this little video to tell you uh what happened once when i was little back in ukraine so every ukrainian or uh or russian at least once in, in their life went for mushroom picking so we would just uh put our wellies on and we would go to big woods they're big in russia and ukraine and uh with the whole family uh and we would well i don't know we, it looks like everyone knows pretty much very well which mushrooms are edible and um which ones are not so um yeah we, we it's it's part of the culture really so um we did that too uh, as well with my family quite often to be honest we're big fans of fried mushrooms and with some uh, with some cream that's really really yummy anyway so once we went, when I was very little, once we went to uh, these big woods, uh, beautiful, uh, tall, huge uh, trees, like, um, what's the name? What's the name? Like a pine trees. So we got each a basket uh, with ourselves and um, uh, kind of wish good luck to 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 everybody and i was only little my mom and dad um been many many times so in my little head was uh i thought okay they know what they're doing they uh, always bring the whole basket full of beautiful huge mushrooms you know and uh, so i was thinking mm, i'm going to you know follow them so uh, we started our journey, so we started to kind of walk around uh, and I hear my mom saying, oh, I found one. Um, I was like, that's, oh, look at that, that's such a beautiful one. So I could hear then dad is saying, here we go, I found another one. That's, oh, there's another one and another one and another one. So I would run and follow them. Uh, trying to find mine so um you know mama shouts here we go there are more so i would run and follow her and i look around and i couldn't find any mushrooms and i would run then after dad and say oh look at that that's just fantastic field of beautiful mushrooms and i would run there and i would look around and i would really try to little dig and pick up the leaves with my stick and I couldn't find any mushrooms so I started to get quite frustrated because my mom's and dad's basket was filling up quite well uh, with the mushrooms and mine was still empty and then something clicked in my head and I decide not to follow them anymore and I decide to change my direction a little and find my own path so i just instead of just chasing them both i turn a little and just you know still seeing them being safe in the woods but i decided to to choose my own path and i started to walk a little bit on the side and I found my first mushroom. I was very, very excited. And then I found more. And more and more, and my basket started filling up with very impressive big mushrooms. And something happened that moment. I don't really think I realized it completely at that time because I was very little. But that story... Um, was coming back to me into my life many times when I needed to make an important decision. And only years, years later, I truly realized what happened there. 
if you follow somebody else's path all the mushrooms are picked already by them not by you so you need to try to find your own path because the great mushrooms are waiting there for you just for you so if you will try to stick to who you are and really try to learn about yourself who you are that's the way best way of finding your niche finding your place under the sun and all the benefits and joy and happiness and success that you're looking for remember that story